welcome back to this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to create a speedometer chart in microsoft excel as you see here in the screen i have created a speedometer chart that is presenting the target versus achievement status of different sales representatives the data i have here in the another sheet where there is daily sales record of different sales representatives their month target their achievement and the achievement percentage this achievement percentage is presented here in the speedometer chart here if i select a different sales representative then the speedometer updates automatically here if i select the another one the needle is automatically rotating according to the value here in the achievement percentage so here in this video we will learn how we can create this kind of speedometer chart in microsoft excel so let me close this workbook then open a another workbook where i have only the data based on this data i will create the speedometer chart here you can download this sample data file to practice from the video description below let's start with the process first of all let's create a design for speedometer for that go to insert tab click on illustrations click on shapes then click on the block art option then draw the block art here this way now go here in this yellow button then decrease the size of this in this way now simply copy this shape by control c then paste it here then put it just below the first shape then decrease its size by going here in these controls now select both of these shape by holding the control key in the keyboard then go to shape format in the shape outline choose no outline now here in this second shape we have to display the red color at the beginning yellow color at the middle and green color at the end for this click on shape format tab click on shape fill then point your mouse to gradient then click on this more gradient option then click on the gradient fill option now here in the gradient stop click on the first one then change its color to red color click on second one change the color to yellow click on third one and change the color to green now you can delete the fourth one by clicking then press the delete key now here in the type choose this radial type then here we have to put this green color at the end red color at the beginning and yellow color at the middle you can do this by moving these stops now here you see the red yellow green is given in a sequence again draw another shape here by clicking on insert illustration shape then select this rectangle rounded corner then draw the shape here click on shape format then remove the shape outline from this no outline now drag this shape below the speedometer then increase its size like this to create a needle here to show the percentage let's insert another shape that is oval shape then drag it over here remove the outline color of this by clicking on no outline then put it at the middle of this this way it should be at the center of this speedometer now to create a needle here again go to insert illustrations shapes then draw this shape from here that is the arrow left draw the shape like this you can change the style of the arrow by using these controls here this way now drag this needle inside this and see whether the size of it is okay or not for this you can put this in different position to check the size 
the size seems fine now again drag this here then remove the outline of this also by going to this no outline option now we need to create a copy of this shape so click on it then press ctrl c in the keyboard to copy ctrl v in the keyboard to paste now change its direction to opposite by going here in the rotate option then choose the flip horizontal option now drag this and join the tail of both arrows like this now select both of these arrows by clicking then hold the control key in the keyboard and select another then go to group option click on this group now drag this shape here and while putting it the middle of the shape should be inside this circle this way now click on the shape at the left then make it invisible by going to this shape fill option then choose no fill now we have only one needle here i will change the color of this needle to a different one now let's create a drop down list here to choose the name of the cells representative for this click on the cell click on data tab click on data validation tool here choose list and in the source click then go to data sheet then here select the cells representatives name then click on ok this creates here a drop down list from which you can choose from the sales representatives here type sales representative now based on the sales representative name given here we have to show the target achievement and achievement percentage for this use the vlookup function here press equal to type vlookup bracket open in the lookup value click on the sales representative name comma in the table array go to the data sheet select this range lock this range by pressing f4 key give a comma in the column index number for target the index number is 2 comma in the range lookup choose exact match by double clicking close the bracket press enter here we have to also fix this column i so double click on the formula then before column i apply the dollar symbol then press enter now copy this formula for achievement and for the achievement the column index number will be 3 so double click then change the index number to 3 then copy this formula paste here in the achievement percentage and change the column index number to 4 now press enter and here change this to percentage formatting by going to home tab then click on this percentage icon now after having this data here now we have to connect this percentage to the needle here because this needle should rotate according to the achievement percentage given here and for this we need to now use the visual basic for application first of all let's see what is the name for this needle the name for this needle is group 7 this name we have to use while writing the code in VBA now right click on this speedometer sheet then click on view code this will open this visual basic or application window here in this drop down choose work sheet and here in this drop down choose change now delete this second code line now here inside these two codes we have to write this active sheet dot shape dot range then open a bracket then give the name of the needle that was group 7 so here type double quotation group 7 double quotation close bracket close dot select then press enter now write a code to rotate the needle that is selection dot shape range dot rotation equal to range then open the bracket now here 
we have to rotate the shape according to this percentage which is in the C3 cell. So here type double quotation C3 double quotation close bracket dot value then multiplied with 180. I will explain you later why this 180 here. Now press enter. Then write the third line of code that is active cell dot select press enter now after writing this code here simply close this VVA editor now when you change the cells representative name here the needle starts to rotate and here the needle is not in the center of the circle so you can adjust its size by simply dragging like this now if you change this to another one the shape is now rotating according to the value here and in the VVA code I multiplied this achievement percentage with 180 because here in this speedometer the needle rotates in 180 degree direction from this to this there will be 180 degree and here if the achievement is 100 percentage then the value in this cell is 1 only because if we change this percentage to number then 100 percent is equal to 1 39 percent is equal to 0 0.39 so 100 percent means 1 and to rotate the needle from 0 degree to 180 degree I multiplied the value 180 with the achievement percentage in the VVA code. Now here let me increase the size of the needle from here by going to shape format. In the length I will make it 1. Then for the second needle also I will make it 1. Then I will now adjust its position detail upward this way. Now we need to display the numbers here in the speedometer. For this click on the insert tab click on this text option click on old art then choose this one then here type 0 then decrease its size by clicking on this then go to home tab and decrease the font size now put this inside this speedometer by dragging here put 0 then rotate this like this then copy the same shape by ctrl c make a copy of it by ctrl v now drag this over here then make it 10 now rotate this by using this control now we have to check whether this needle will show for the 10 percent so to see this let's go here in this data and make it 10 20 30 40, 50, 60 and then 70. This I have done just to adjust the position of these numbers here. Later I will change this by using formula. Now here let me select Emma from here. Now by looking into the pointer here we have to adjust the position of the number here. Let's put it over here for the 10 percent then make a copy of it by ctrl c ctrl v let's take olivia from here where it is showing the direction for 20 percent so let's drag this here then change this to 20 and rotate the shape to adjust here this way now do the same till 100% here now after putting all the numbers here then go in the data sheet then change the formula here that should be is equal to achievement divided by target then drag the formula down now here if you change this 
sales representative name the needle is moving now to display the percentage achieved here insert a new shape by going to illustration shapes then draw this shape here this way now click on the formula bar press equal to then click on this achievement percentage press enter this will show the percentage achieved here click on shape outline choose no outline click on shape fill and here choose this different color now we have to merge the shape used here to create the speedometer because if we want to move the position of the speedometer then only one shape will move so we need to create a group of this for this first of all you have to take this needle outside the speedometer because this needle is connected with the VVA code which we should not group with this so take the needle outside the speedometer first then click on this shape then press ctrl a in the keyboard which will select all the shapes used here then hold the control key in your keyboard then click on this needle which will deselect the needle release the control key then go to shape format click on this group option then click on group now this speedometer is grouped together now if you move the position of it then everything moves together now after putting it in the right place then place the needle inside the speedometer like this now if you change the sales representative from here you see the needle starts to rotate so this is the way of creating the speedometer chart in microsoft excel and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial